Hi, welcome back to the Lifestyle Show with me, Anthony Jordan and Miss and and B. Oh my gosh, you, you've caught the fire. I've got it. Oh, I've got, did you see that? And uh, this might be retired. I've loved it, but this is, <laughs> hey, that's explosive. No, as much as we had that first segment, I could not let Annette travel all that way from Birmingham and give her just one segment. So, Annette, yes, you've been busy. You've Absolutely, been busy. Yeah. Yeah, busiest person I may know actually. <laughs> so tell us, <laughs> as well as getting these nominations, you caught up with a few artists. Papa San, oh my gosh, was here in the UK and he tore up the place. That's good. That's good. I'm, oh, I'm telling you. And he's here promoting um, Voice Against Crime. Because you know what's been happening, you know, especially the whole of this year. Too many lives have been taken. Too many. And um, he was here just bringing some love and making parents aware and the youth aware of what we should look out for and avoid. Well, let's not waste it, let's have a look. I'm trusting us on chariot. We trust them in the true and living God, you know? Hey, this is Annette B and I'm here again for the Gospel Explosion and I have the awesome man of God. Blessing, this is Papa San, one love, God bless, one up. Praise God, awesome, awesome man of God here again in the UK and he's just been here spreading the word of God. So Papa San, tell us more, what's been going on? <clears throat> well, God has been amazing to us and, you know, using us mightily spreading the good news through music through preaching of the gospel spreading our wings you know through church and through you know concerts and just winning soul for christ I've actually been present in some of the concerts that you've been doing and you know you're really blessing not only my soul but yesterday I was seeing all the youth them ah oh, they were just having a ball in the Lord well that's what it's all about and it's about enjoying yourself celebrating you know the fact that we know Christ and seeing lives being transformed by this music and being touched is an amazing thing you know Amen, because there's so much negative things that's going on in the world. So when, when a, you know, a man of the gospel can spread the, world via, spread the word via music, that the youth can engage and feel they're really being touched and being blessed, it's powerful. Powerful, you know, the gospel is power. You know, Paul said it, you know, that, you know, it is the power of God unto salvation. So mm. once the word go forth, you know, we're looking forward to, for people's life to be changed. And that's the main thing, and we have seen that even on this trip. Mm. So what, so, you know, before you gave your heart to the Lord, we know that Papa Sam was out of road. So tell me more. Well, you know, that's the past secular, you know, my life was, was out there with everybody else doing what we do and, you know, and just entertaining people, traveling from one country to the next, having several hit songs and stuff like that. But since being a Christian, Come you know, on. we see, you know, things take a turn that we have never seen it before. You know, it's not just you being entertained, but life being literally transformed and family put back together again. So God is doing a great thing. Stop your mouth, sit and beat your 
How, how were you called? How did you feel the calling to serve the Lord? Well, the passion is there. You know, the passion is there to um, preach the gospel. The passion is there to, to to sing what God put on your heart to sing. Mm. The passion is there to win soul for Christ. To, you know, only what you do for Christ will last. And that's what mm. where my heart is at, is to really touch the lives of people and make sure that whatever you do, you know, is not just something to entertain you on the outside, but... Mm. It, it, it is an inward change that took place in your life, you know, by the music that you spread. Oh, that is so awesome. So how many years since you've given your heart to the Lord? Well, it's been 20 years this year. You know, 20 years, seven albums, and I'm a belt, and looking at the eighth album now, and so it's been a, a journey, and um, we give God thanks. We certainly do, because I'm telling <coughs> you, when the GX squad is um, playing your songs on the radio, I tell you, we are, uh, no matter, you know, I have to say, no matter how, you know, what situation we find ourselves in, and then when we go into the studio and we're all working together and we're playing the songs that ministers of the gospel are recording, such like yourself, it's just so uplifting, you know, and I just have to say, Pastor, Pastor Papa San, mm -hmm. just keep doing what you're doing because God's really using you for as a time like this. I know you touched on absent fathers you know you're talking about voice against crime so tell me a bit more about that well voice against crime is always a powerful thing because you have to have somebody who speak on behalf of the, the people mm. and somebody who are the more peace for god you know because the kids them you know lead astray and they're doing some stuff that is ungodly and we have to find a way to reach them and to show them a different way and that's what vice um, um vice for the crime mm, yeah. you know is all about and so we, we, we just push forward to make sure so whatever message we are sending out is to, to touch the lives of these youths so we can see some radical change and some radical mm -hmm. transformation that will take place, and take place. And so we give God thanks for that. Amen. And you touched about the fatherless. I thought that was so, yeah. so yeah. apt. Yeah, the fatherlessness is what breed uh, most of it, 90% of this problem. You know, it's not just the government or software. If you check our culture, you know, we have a fatherlessness problem. You know, we have a problem that, you know, the kids left without a father, no one to affirm them. And so you find that they stray in different directions. Some turn homosexuals, some turn, uh, turn to gun violent because they find a gang leader to father them. Some meet the road prematurely to hustle for themselves because they're selling drugs and they end up in prison or dead. And the young lady either become prostitutes because there's no man in the house to affirm them. You know, or they just jump from one man to the next man because they're just looking for love and find it in the wrong place. And so it end up in suicidal rate because a lot of these kids can't, uh, they can't maintain mm. that kind of a problem. So it turned to suicide. So even the suicide rates and the, the gang violence and all these things is sprang out of fatherlessness. And fatherlessness is a big issue. And I think it has been ignored a lot and it's overlooked. But it's something that we have to really look into. If you, if you talk to most of the prisoners and ask them, where is your father? 98% of them tell you that they did not grow with a father. Wow, that is so true. <clears throat> that is so true. And if that is something that, you know, we could address as a community, yeah. things would start getting better. Yeah, we have to address it, especially in the black community, because we always paint everything white. And that is our problem. You know, the white man do him thing and he must be given account to God for that. And, you know, when I shall change him in any way, he's responsible for what he do to black people. But sometimes we paint everything, even our own problem, we paint it white and we don't deal with our own issues. Yes. We have issues. And the issues that in our culture is that we, we have six, seven, eight baby mothers and we don't have the funding to fund the child. Mm. And we leave the mother with the tree picnic and we're gone our ways. Mm. And the lady have to grow up with three child on her own, working two jobs, and the kid can't take no mother for say, stand for say the mother living like this. So the kid hit the road prematurely to help the mother. He them have to sell drugs and then get himself in problem. And this is what happened over and over and over in our culture. And then we keep getting the girls pregnant, 
and then blame the government to feed them i don't understand that mentality uh, we have to take some responsibility of our own now. and let and let and, and let unless we deal with the issue within we now gonna solve the problem you know we're not gonna see it better if we keep painting everything white is racism cause that oh through the government no help me cause that the government never tell you to get seven piece ladies pregnant and don't mind the picnic that's your choice come on now. Come on you now. know <clears throat> so we you know the culture of the black community too much woman left with kids too much most homes are going on the mother hall is left with the kids most of the time 98 percent of the time is the mother left with the four five three four set kids the father does free to get seven mother more girl pregnant it's wrong and so we have to have a man a leader within the house you know so the divide the vision within home is tearing everything apart the divorce rate is very high you have people are predators that come between marriages and wreck it and when they divide you then divide your kids then divide your home then divide everything else and they don't care they just care about that one night stand yes. and don't care about the end result of it and so people have to start thinking better take respect for, you know have respect for themselves treat themselves like a princess and don't just carry yourself like a toxic yap you know you know it's, it's wrong and i'm sorry i have to use that term but yeah. you know that's what it is reality talk oh my gosh i tell you papa san you just god's just using you for his glory and i just want to encourage you you know because i know it must be hard on the battlefield you're out there on the front line working on god's behalf and i have to salute you man i have to, I literally i have to salute you because it, yeah man it's just it's just amazing how god has taken you from that and placed you in there for his glory yeah. and you, you have you haven't become like lazy or not doing nothing you've picked up your mantle and you're running for god <laughs> I just gotta ask you. I just want a little something, something from Speak you. A little from you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, blessing and love and honor every time. A new day dawning. Christ comes in the morning. Shower down your blessing my way. Hey, shower down your blessing my way. I could have near how far me and Jesus as par. We are earthen vessel and him living a major. We are soldier for Christ, man a real tap on our bone way bad mind like cigar. <laughs> hey, poop, 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 poop. <laughs> oh, praise God. You're hearing for yourself the awesome man of God, Papa Son, who's a pastor. And I'm telling you, his chat, sometimes I listen to his messages on Facebook. Man of God is tough, tough, tough. <laughs> now, I just want to encourage you. I want to thank you. Yes. It's so lovely meeting your family. Your, your, um, I call her sister Papa Sun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, God is good. Mm -hmm. I just want to say, keep doing what you're doing. And I just pray God will continue to anoint you. How can people get a hold of you? Ah, just go up on papasanlinkup.com. You know, that's a site that brings you to all my information. Papasanlinkup.com. Oh, you get it.
Praise God. This is Annette B. and Pastor. Blessing, Papa Son. One love. Blessing, sis. One love. Peace out. Gospel explosion. <laughs> <laughs> And congratulations, such a positive message. A, a concert which is there, has you. had the people pumped, but more than that, it's the important message. You, too many lives have been lost unnecessarily yeah. at the moment, yeah. and that, that needs to come to a stop. And I have to give a big shout out to Rico, whose vision it was to coordinate all these artists. Three concerts, three different locations. So, big shout out to Rico for the Man of God, yes. Fireman, I call him Fireman, he calls me Firewoman. Because he is a grafter for the Lord. He is, he is indeed. He is, no, Rico, he is. every time I meet Rico, it's always a fantastic project on, on, on in the pipeline or just about to happen or just happen. Amen. And it's, Amen. Good, it's good to see the work continue. Yes. I'm very yes. happy to see that. I'm really happy. So, big up Papa San and Rico. Indeed. Okay. Right. So, once again, Annette, I know we caught it from you earlier, but can we just get all your socials out there? How can everyone get in contact with you? Yes, you can get in contact with me on Facebook, um, Annette B. Instagram and it be underscore Twitter and it be underscore and if you want something to be featured here on the lifestyle show on Ben TV email me Annette a n e t e underscore b e e at ymail.com no matter what it is it's got to be about the gospel and community all rolled in and we're here and we'll tell your story you will and Amen. she does such a fantastic job of it doesn't she just oh, doesn't she just but okay um that's what an honor having a net with us once again but we're off to a break see you then <laughs> 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 <laughs>